Okay, so I said that I would make a graph of the electric potential due to these two point charges. I have a charge Q1 at the origin at four nanocoulombs and a negative three nanocoulomb charge at X equals 0.1. And I want to see if I could graph where the potential is equal to zero uh, for all of these regions. So I actually have three graphs here. I'm gonna make three different graphs for three different regions. I can't make one graph because as I pass over one of the points, if I went to that point, the, the potential due to that point would go to infinity and it couldn't really plot it. So I'm just gonna break it up and not plot those points. Okay. So these are this is the same stuff I've had before. Um, actually, this is not right. I want to put this at. Uh, let's start. Let's start our observation at negative point two. Uh, x equals negative point two. But actually, I need to change this anyway. So this is my electric potential in general as, and I'm using these as vectors. Okay. So let's start x equals negative point oh point two, and let's say dx is 0.001. I just picked some value. So now I'm going to move towards the origin, right? So I'm moving towards the origin. So I'm going to say while uh, x is less than, let's say, 0.05. I just picked a value. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to uh, make my r vector, my observation vector, r equals vector x0, 0. So I didn't really need that other thing up there. Okay, now I can calculate the electric potential, which is right here. Now I can plot the electric potential. So I'm gonna say f1.plot, my x value is gonna be x, my y value is gonna be v. Now I can do this, x equals x plus dx. So I am now moving my x position a little bit more to the right, and then that's it. So let's just, let's just graph this, uh, run this and see what happens. Nothing. Oh. Hmm. Giant spike. Let's do it. Let's do this point one. Let's just try that. X V. Huh. Point X is negative point two. R0, K, F1 dot plot. Why am I getting this spiky thing right there at zero? While X is less than, oh, less than negative, aha, zero, five. So it was, it, that's exactly what happened. I passed over the point and you see how it went up to spiking. So I, I did that on purpose so you can see why I didn't want to do that. Ha, how about that, okay. There, that's better. So now you can see that as I get closer and closer to the charge, the potential only gets higher. It's never going to be zero. Zero is down here. So it region one is not going to work. And in fact, I will change this to, uh, let's say, 0.1, just to make it not so big. OK, that's good. Now let's go in, bet in the in between regions, so let's set x equal to, now I have two values that are gonna be uh, working against each other between zero and 0 0.1. So let's go uh, x is 0 0.03, I just picked that. And then I will say while x is less than 0 0.07, I'm gonna do the same exact stuff, same exact stuff. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it uh, the one thing I want to change is f2 dot plot. If I if I did, let's just run it and see what happens. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I'm going, I'm increasing, and I blank out until over here, and then I decrease. But I do cross zero right here. You see, so I do get a zero point. Um, if I didn't make a separate function, it would just draw a straight line from here to there, and that look a little weird. So I didn't do that. Okay, now let's do the third region, which is the one that I was confused about. So let's say uh, x equals 0 0.1, I'm going to say 1, 5, 3. So while x is less than um, 0 0.3, I just picked a value. Oh, need a colon there. And then let's copy this stuff, same stuff. Copy that, paste it, and change this to f three dot plot and run it. 
Okay, oh, yeah. So, do I get a, this region's positive potential, this region switches, this region's negative, but it looks like maybe if I keep going, I might get a positive potential. Yeah, so it does look like it does cross over at some point, say right around um, here. Okay, let's do let's do a trick. Watch this trick. So I was wrong. Um, T graph equals graph. X title equals position. Y title. Equal, you don't need this. Uh, volts, potential, I'll just put potential. Potential in volts. And then, watch this, fast equals false. Now I'm gonna run it. In this case, it uses Plotly to graph the thing. So up here, I can actually zoom in that region. And you can see it does indeed cross the axis. And right around here of x equals 0.4. So I do get two values for the electric potential being equal to zero. I didn't even try it before, but if you set up that equation and solve for it, you should get that same thing. Okay, so there's a little extra way to view this whole problem. Uh, at some point, I would like to find the potential everywhere that B equals zero, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I think a follow-up question too that I should answer is where is the electric field equal to zero? And I think I'll do that problem next.